हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम नजीब द सीईओ एंड द फाउंडर ऑफ एन मीडिया हेयर इज़ द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट विल बी क्रिएटिंग विद द पी पॉम प्लग इन यू सी वी हैव प्रोडक्ट पेज एंड हेयर वी हैव थ्री ऑप्शंस और थ्री इनपुट फील्ड्स वेयर द कस्टमर कैन एड और कस्टमाइज योर प्रोडक्ट एज पर हिज नीड like he he can select the size and uh, gender and we have a text input which is required input field so let's see how uh, you can create this really quick so first of all you must have the pform plugin installed and uh, if you go to new plugin and just type pform and you will see the pform plugin right here and pform for woocommerce you just install and activate i am not going to install because i have already installed the developer development version so once it is installed uh, you can go to pform fields and here you can see all the pform fields already created so just get to a new people meta group and let me name it uh, green t-shirt 2020 and uh, i will come back on this settings a little bit later so let me add uh, the select input and i name it like select size and uh, here you can customize the error message or selected options like default option and first option like uh, i say uh, select your size and uh, okay in the option i will add uh, small and we can also add the price for each option uh, which uh, will be add on price of uh, the product base price so uh, i will add 5 uh, as my default currency is dollar so it will be 5 dollar 10 dollar and uh, the large size is set it 15 okay so add and you see uh, the select size input field is added okay let me quickly add another field name it uh, gender male and here is the female right and add this okay now uh, at the last i will add print label and i am going to add some extra attributes like uh, your name on shirt and we can also set the max and the minimum length and default default values and also you can use the uh, mask or the regular regex expressions for the masking so details have been provided Uh, within these links so uh, this is this is the grid uh, like you can set the width of the input fields okay if i set it 6 so and turn the required field on and save this so you see my pform meta group is ready so let's attach it with the product okay now move to the product page and uh, here uh, if you want uh, to add okay this product with our new pform meta group you can select this or multiple products from the from here and go to bulk actions and uh, scroll down here you will see the name of the people meta we just created and uh, just apply okay now if we 
have a front end view of the product so you see we have the all options attached with our product and we have set the width of uh, the field as a 6 so it is uh, it is basically the bootstrap grid system where we have 12 uh, piece of uh, columns and uh, if I set again you can edit the meta from the top menu you see okay let me open it and uh, let me set it to 12 again and uh, okay let me fill this form and then we check out and okay you see we have a nice price detail options here where we can see the total price of, of the options like all the options price will be here and uh, then we have the product base price and then we have the grand total okay we have uh, options here uh, price display option uh, we have three types of options like uh, do not show table price it will hide the table uh, price table entirely then we have show only options total so let me select this and uh, I will show the result okay here you see okay it's the same as before D the default is that uh, it will not uh, be showing the options detail it will be just the options total all the options we selected uh, with the add-on will have a total amount uh, be calculated there okay but if I want to show the detail of each options selected so here you see we can see the detail of selected option in the price table so the customer can see the all information about uh, the prices or add-ons breakdown so it's up to you uh, how you like to display or control this price table okay let me quickly add some information and uh, add to cart and then if I go to cart I can see the information is uh, attached with the cart and uh, let's proceed with the checkout and uh, and on the checkout page I can also see the information and okay let me complete the order and uh, here information is also attached and uh, if we go to the orders and uh, here is the last order and uh, here you see the information is also attached with the order so you see how the Pong plugin can be used to customize your product page where all the fields extra fields are then sent to the checkout and the email and the orders so the admin can collect these informations and deliver the product as per the desire or the customizations client sent with the Pong plugin so I hope uh, you like our plugin and please visit www.najibmedia.com for more PPOM add-ons and we will be adding more tutorials for all the add-ons thanks for watching bye bye